everybody I'm back and today what we're gonna do is we are going to update you guys on all of the crazy stuff that's been going on in our lives so now the first thing that we can talk about is my teeth my braces are coming off very soon now I go for an appointment this week and hopefully the braces come off but there's a couple of things that need to happen when they come off which is really exciting somewhat scary a little bit so now if you look at my teeth you might see like right here let's use the pen I'm not gonna put the pen in my mouth but I'm just gonna put it towards the camera so you can see see that right there how that tooth comes down that way that tooth the dentist told me there's a couple of things we can do we can put a veneer on that tooth that's coming this way he said because the tooth went into the tooth was crooked when we first got the braces on so now that it becomes straight and it pushed back the root was in the right place but it made the tooth go slanted right there so what you would either have to do is you have the option of you can get a veneer on top of it make it look really nice but if you get a veneer the veneer will look different than your teeth you know so there's so many different things and i'm like oh shucks what should i do or he said he could put material at the bottom and make it straight and then put some material up here to make it higher as this one so they're both even because they're not e the gum line isn't even on this one and this one all right and then so you have this tooth right here this one here that's really out of whack that one right there that's that baby tooth that i had pulled out so what they did with that baby tooth is they took it out it's actually my tooth they took it out because it was not an adult tooth and that's when they put the screw you know underneath that tooth they put the the baby tooth in there as the temporary implant you know and then you have your implants for uh three to three and a half months and then you get your permanent tooth put on so when i go in a couple of days i'll have my permanent tooth put on right here okay so we won't have that issue and then the next thing is this bottom tooth here is not even with the other teeth so that bottom row will get shaved down until everything is nice and perfect. And he's going to make sure that every tooth is, you know, straight this way. And I have the perfect curves and everything that I need. Now, this is where the other implant was put. Or there's no tooth, but I can fill the implant up there. It's been healing for three and a half months now. I'll get the implant put in there. He's going to do a whitening, a in-house whitening where I can get my teeth as bright as I want to get them. And I'm very excited about that. And then I'm also, the same day, I'm going to plan to be there for five to six hours. Yes. And then the same day, I'm going to get um, gum ref... I don't know. Why do I want to say gum refining? But what they're going to do is they're going to make the gum line nice and even. So every tooth... You know the gum does the same thing on each side if you look closely you can see that the gum line doesn't do that right now but what they do is they literally take like um it's like something really hot and they burn the gums they burn it and they make it nice and even so it's picture perfect and so i'm really excited now we have been waiting on this gap here at the bottom right in the middle to close it, it's closed but it, i feel like it could close a little bit more so we'll just kind of see but it is even what they were wanting they were wanting it to be perfectly round at the bottom let's see and i see that and i'm happy with it so we'll just see in a couple of days if i come home with my braces off there is a chance i could go up there and he looks and he say ah not time yet you know like he did last time so we'll just see and we're crossing our fingers i'm very excited because it's so hard to eat it's so hard to talk with braces on yes it is so i'm excited about that and then um the next thing is the pest control my goodness listen here guys <laughs> listen here this is a journey life is a journey life is a true journey so now 
Okay, so my husband comes to me one day and he says, uh, we need to get pest control out here. And I say, why? And I say, why? And he said, well, because, you know, the winter's coming up, the cold weather is coming up, and you don't want no mice in here. I said, no, I don't want that, because y'all know, those of you that are familiar with me, you know that mice are my fear. Like, mice is my, it, that's my ultimate fear. <laughs> I said, did you see a mouse? And he said, no. And in my head, I didn't believe him. But really, in my head, I didn't believe him. He said, I didn't. I promise I didn't. I said, honey, did you see a mouse? And he said, no, I promise. Okay. So he calls them, he calls the people out, whatever company it was, the guy comes out and he looks and he says, so you guys see a mice? And my husband told him, no, mm -mm. And I said, no, I said, unless he, you know, unless he sees something, he ain't tell me, you know. And the guy said, well, I'll tell you, <laughs> right? So he's looking and he's looking everywhere and doing what he's supposed to do, inspecting. He didn't see anything. He didn't see no mouse poops or anything. He didn't see any mouse urine, any holes or anything. But um, he goes in a garage and he looks. And out here, um, living in a HOA neighborhood, you have to keep your trash cans in your garage. Yes, you do. And we double bag our trash. Listen here, we double bag our trash with two, three trash bags and tie that bad boy up good. And we clean our trash cans out weekly because we don't want any problems. So he looks behind the trash because I'm thinking, please, Lord, please, Lord, please, 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 please don't let him see anything. And he says, no, I don't see nothing. And he says, well, for us to come back and take care of, you know, to get you all sealed up, get your house all sealed up, it's going to be $1,500. I said, you have to talk to my husband about this. This crazy. So the guy left. I talked to my husband and we said, what was what he talking about? $1,500. I said, well, he said that the bottom of the garage door, he would they would put a new one of their new seals on, and the seal has something special. And I told the guy, I said, we got a brand new garage. This is a brand new house. Like, we have a brand new garage door that was just put on last year. And the seal at the bottom is prestige. Like, nothing's wrong. There's no holes or anything. And I said, when we had our inspection done for the house, there's no holes in the foundation. Everything is AAA1, right? And the guy's like, yeah, I know, but sometimes they can still get through this and that. But we wind up telling that company, no thanks. So we figured out, we get another company out here. And that company came out and he looked around. He didn't see anything in either. And I'm like, yes, praise God. So the guy says, so what are you guys wanting to do? And we said, we're just wanting preventative. We, we want to prevent, you know, mice from coming in or anything like that. And we did also tell him that we had a snake, you know, that came in through one of those holes at the side of the house. You all saw the snake that I um, showed you all when I did the live. And he said, a snake. And my husband said, yeah, there was a snake that went in through one of the holes in the house. And the guy checked the outside, he checked the inside, didn't see anything, no poops, no pee, no, no nothing. And so we said, he said, what are you looking for? And we said, well, if you put out some type of bait or something, and the guy said, oh yeah, we could put out bait inside of traps that's around your house, maybe put some in the basement and, you know, like under your sinks and just make sure everything is nice and sealed. But then um, he's looking at the house, he, you know, did a check around the outside of the house and those weep holes, do you all remember me showing you all what a weep hole is? I'm gonna show you real quick and then I'm gonna explain what it is and what it's for. Let me make my way outside and I'll show you. It's really interesting. So we're outside. I'm gonna show you all one of the weep holes. So this would be considered a weep hole, that right there. What is it there for and is it supposed to be there? Well, you turn around and you look this way there's another one, right? And then let's just say, let's make our way this way. You come this way and there's another and there is another. So let's answer the question. I'm gonna try to fix this camera really quickly, get it back to that good view that we had. So trying to answer the question that you all are gonna have, what are those holes there for, Gina? Well, they're called weep holes and when you have a house that's made of brick, and um, they have to have, the brick is porous, and it has to have room to breathe. And um, it has to have room for water to flow out, 
for to breathe and things like that so mold doesn't form inside of your walls and all kinds of stuff like there's a whole science to why they have to have those well we have those holes since our house is so big we have those holes everywhere all through but then the guy comes out and he said now listen here the houses are supposed to be made with those weep holes you have to have them don't you ever try to seal them yourself because if you ever try to seal them yourself, you'll stop the airflow, you'll stop the water flow, and you will have a horrible, you know, a mold issue and things like that. He said, now our company fills them up professionally, and we use something that is like stainless steel. And um, the stainless steel does have holes in it, so the house can still breathe, but it also prevents mice, snakes, you know, bugs and all kinds of stuff from going in those holes because evidently they can get into those holes, get into your walls and go up to the attic and start coming down and getting in the house. And that's what we don't want because if they, if that was to ever happen, you guys wouldn't have a Gina Young anymore because <laughs> uh -uh, that's too much for me. So, um, they came up with a plan and they're going to come out next week and they're gonna cover the holes and I am so excited. I am so excited for them to come out. So they're gonna come out, two technicians are gonna come out and spend probably a nice time here and they're gonna seal all of those holes and you know, it, they're gonna look under the sink if there's any holes. You know, sometimes under the sinks there's a little hole, I, I don't know where, but they said if, if there's holes under the sink, they'll fill those and put traps down and everything, and they said, we'll be set for the winter. Well, we looked under all the doors. All the doors has the weatherproofing that is sealed nice and tight. Our garage door is sealed nice and tight, and we should be all set. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. On the same hand, on the same note, it really freaks me out, and I wish they would be here like as of today. But they'll be here in a couple of days, and we'll get that all set and done because um i um at my first well not my first house at the house uh that i started youtube in there was a mouse issue and i was on edge every single day i was on edge every single day and the good lord helped us through it um when we moved in they had like some type of issue where the lady had overflowed water in the kitchen before she moved out and the house was left like that for several days. The water ran down the back of the house and made the wood weak. And then the mice went up into the wood and then they could get in and things like that. And it was very scary. So one day I'll have to give you guys that story because it's a really odd story. But, you know, somehow the good Lord helped us through it, you know. But we don't want that issue ever again. And we don't want, you know, any pests. And like I said, think about the snakes. You know, that snake that went in there that I showed you guys on that live, what if there, what if snakes are in the attic, <laughs> you know? that That's like a really scary um, thing to think about. So by putting the um, little preventive stainless steel things in all of those holes, that's gonna protect us for the winter. And, and even mice, a lot of people don't know that mice are even, you can see them, in the summer as well. So it's not just a winter thing, you know, but we're gonna do all we can to prevent that. So that's the update on the wheat poles and the exterminating company. <laughs> so I'm really, really, really happy to have them come back out. Um, and then also one other thing, hold on guys. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I was talking to Dakota really quickly. Now, we did do our parent um, meeting for the tutoring company that I was telling you all about. And it went well. They told us about his weaknesses and his strengths and you know things that he need help with and stuff like that. And so what we've came up with is a nine month program that we're gonna do. And he's gonna do three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and um, two I believe the days that he go is going to be two hours Monday two hours Wednesday and two hours Friday and he's going to be working with the same teacher I'm so excited because they have they, they got this whole plan 
and they're gonna work with him with every subject that he struggled in. And so that's what we're looking for. Everything that they said, that's exactly what we're looking for so he can be successful and you know build up confidence in different areas you know that he might struggle in and things like that so that's the update on that that's actually happening as of monday <laughs> monday 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 and then um also his school let's just say he was in regular school which he's not he's in um you all know he's doing the virtual learning we we constantly keep getting um, emails from the school saying that someone has COVID, someone has COVID, someone has COVID, and it's like a message every day, guys. I couldn't imagine being one of the parents that has my kids in the school because it's so scary. So, and they sent this thing home, uh, or email home today, and they said, if you're not vaccinated, get vaccinated. They got five buses, five buses that are shut down due to COVID and bus drivers are out with COVID, the kids have COVID, and guys, like seriously, man, what is like, ooh, I'm, I'm just glad that he's being homeschooled. I, I really am, I really am. Now, what what's going on with all these people having so many comments about my hair? Like somebody doesn't like, there's so many people that hates my hair. <laughs> stop <laughs> and guess what I don't care somebody told me honey you would look so nice with some braids some side braids on the side with beads at the end like what who do y'all like <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> I can't believe the comments that I read and then people are saying Gina I don't like the shirts that you wear change your shirt style up this and that somebody even went as far <laughs> Me and my husband crack up when we read these messages. And I just block the crazy people. I do. I do. When they get crazy on there, I, we just have a block party. And we just start blocking people left and right. And we have a good time doing it. Somebody said, you wear those affliction shirts. Honey, you are not afflicted. This and that. Stop wearing those shirts. And I'm thinking, are you serious? Like, some people, like, they just don't have a life or something. Like, what? What? And, and then there's then there's a whole group of people that hate me wearing the skulls on my shirt. It's like, come on. <laughs> Guys, I can't stop laughing because it's like the craziest thing that I've ever heard in my whole life. But anyways, we got pest control coming out. I'm so excited. We're going to make sure that this house is completely sealed so that nothing can ever 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 come into this house that is not wanted <laughs> absolutely but i love you guys and as far as my health i have days where it's up and it's down one day i'm feeling the best the next day i can't get out the bed so the thing with my iron i feel like it's starting to work you know but they did tell me it's going to be four to six weeks so i can expect days when i'm feeling bad and then the next day i might wake up and feel like the best person in the world like the other day i was feeling great next day i couldn't get out the bed but everything's going to work itself out and with god on our side all things is possible i love you guys from the bottom of my heart good night just a little update